What's going on guys, my name is Matt and my personal rig has gone through many transformations over the past few years with the biggest change being my switch from an Intel based system to an AMD Ryzen based system one year ago. And for the past year I've used nothing but Ryzen for my personal rig and today I'm going to talk about my experience with it, all the pros, all the cons and whether or not the switch was worth it. So to give you some context I'll tell you a little about my old Intel rig and tell you about my current Ryzen rig. Before switching to Ryzen, I had a 12 core ES Haswell Xeon clocked at 2.5 GHz sitting inside of an EVGA X99 Micro 2 motherboard. Now while this wasn't the fastest processor ever, I did play around with virtualization and other heavily multi-threaded tasks at the time which the Xeon greatly benefited. Ironically enough, switching to AMD with the 8 core Ryzen 7 1700, I was giving up 4 cores but I was gaining a large bump in single core performance and the ability to overclock. My old Xeon and the R7-1700 at stock actually performed the same in Cinebench even though the Ryzen had 4 fewer cores and the Ryzen 7 beats the Xeon with a mild overclock. As for my current setup, I've got the R7-1700 at 3.8GHz across all cores, an ASRock B350 ITX board, 16GB of 3200MHz RAM, a few SSDs, and a GTX 1070 Ti. Overall, for what I do, gaming, editing, and pretty much anything else I throw at it, the system has no problem handling. To compare and talk about my experience, I decided to break my computer use into categories and go over each of them and talk about how using the Ryzen system is better or worse for each. These categories are gaming, video editing, and basic computing. So let's start with gaming. Gaming on this Ryzen system is amazing. While I don't play the most demanding games ever, all the ones I do play run really well. For example, I play Fortnite at 1440p with these kind of pro settings and am able to maintain a basically locked 144fps which is a phenomenal experience. And compared to my slower Xeon, this Ryzen 7 is able to push much higher frame rates in games which is great because I have a high refresh rate monitor to take advantage of all the fps. Now if you are building a rig solely for gaming and price isn't an issue, then yes going with something like an overclocked 8700K will give you more performance but the extra cores and lower price tag Ryzen 7 offers is an incredible value for the money for people like myself who use their system for workstation and gaming tasks. I also didn't notice any extra game stability issues going from Intel to AMD so that's good too. So overall for gaming I'm very happy with the Ryzen 7. Moving on to video editing, this is where some of the cons of Ryzen start to pop up. I use Adobe Premiere and myself and others have found Premiere stability to be much worse with AMD than Intel. Obviously this is an optimization issue but it's still an issue. Crashes occur much more frequently than I would like and to add insult to injury, Premiere's latest update that allows added hardware acceleration with Intel's integrated graphics means Intel CPUs perform even better in Premiere now. The Toasty Bros actually just made a video about this which I'll link in the description if you want to learn more about it. So with all this being said, the Ryzen 7 still performs well for editing and the video editing issues I've run into have a great deal to do with my editing software of choice and not just with my CPU of choice. With 8 cores at 3.8 GHz, render times are very reasonable and Premiere really only uses up to 6 cores which means I can use my PC to browse the web or play something like Hearthstone while I wait for the render to finish. Overall, editing in Premiere with a Ryzen CPU does come with its downsides but again 8 cores at a very reasonable price makes these issues seem less important. Moving on to general computer usage, this Ryzen system is just as snappy and web browsing, video watching, photo editing, and any other light task as any other Intel PC I've used. Every once in a while I'll run into some program stability issues but they are very minor and I imagine as Ryzen becomes more and more popular and developers catch up these issues should disappear. Overall I've shown there are pros and cons to going with a Ryzen based system as there are with any system but I personally believe the pros well outweigh the cons. At the end of the day right now you can pick up a Ryzen 7 1700 for $220 on Amazon, 8 cores, 16 threads and unlocked all for a really good price. Two years ago a CPU like this would have cost 3 or 4 times this price and require much more expensive motherboards and a much beefier cooling solution. My switch from Intel while not perfect has been a really great experience so far and until Intel offers a similar value for the money I see no real reason to consider switching back. With that being said if Intel releases an 8 core mainstream chip for around the same price as Ryzen I'll heavily consider picking it up if I'm still editing with Premiere at the time. But that chip 
doesn't exist and it may never exist so for now I'm very happy with my Ryzen 7 1700. If you guys recently switched one way or another, let me know in the comment section down below, and also let me know the specs of the rig you're rocking because I'm interested to see if my viewers are more team red or team blue. Personally, I'm for whichever company will give the most value for the money, and right now, that's AMD. So yeah guys, I think this wraps this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, as well as consider subscribing for more PC and tech related content in the future. And as always, this is Matt from Tech by Matt, signing out.